we started banging out stuff just because the retailers they just wanted you know new and cheap and like for instance these guys we came up with a line of these for rubies and it was one guy had a top hat and then it was undertaker and a different one sure got, I, you, all this stuff you know i have no knowledge of this. you think <laughs> i know stuff <laughs> oh I can just say words. Yeah, you know? Covert is intimate with this. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the name of this? Because Buckethead called it Pop Top. A pop Top? That's probably better than I don't know what. <laughs> or we Pringles. Call they called it Pringles, too. Uh, um, I have no idea what we call that. This is a mask that we all know the name of, so I'm not even going to say the name. Everyone's familiar with the name of this mask. If this you was don't used. Know this mask, yeah. That's on you. Yeah, you're a total distortions noob if you don't know the name. <laughs> This was used very, very casually by Buckethead. Not that often, a lot of rare footage. It actually took us a while to figure out exactly what it was because the footage was so bad and the sculpt is so intricate that it looks like you're staring at two pixels of something. But we finally figured it out. And this was actually a mask that Distortions put out with rubies. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say about this one. It's just a, a very interesting piece used by Buckethead. Here, take this one. We've got the Distortions Unlimited Liar here. This was made famous by the band Slipknot, number three. Mr. Chris Fain wore this for the first two albums. Uh, they were slightly converted, and by slightly converted, I mean they were changed almost entirely. <laughs> they were cut, they were stitched, they had zippers, they had leather work, all kinds of stuff, but it all came from this bass piece here. <laughs> Oh man, don't even hold that. All the slips. This thing's huge. <laughs> Massive. We've got the Distortions baby face mask. This is also known as the Cuddles mask in the community. Once again, made famous by Slipknot. Mr. Greg Welts wore this, who actually was replaced by Chris Fain, who wore the Liar a little bit later on in the band's career. And this is a uh, seldomly seen mask in Slipknot, but. It's still pretty cool because it was so seldomly seen and it is a distortions piece, of course. So, slightly converted in the band. He cut the lips out, added some makeup to it and stuff. It would have been really interesting to see where this went had he stayed with the band. <laughs> Man. Nice. Bam, bam. Distortions Unlimited Battered Hawk. This was the first mask used by Mick Thompson, again in the band Slipknot and another seldomly seen piece. It actually did go through quite a bit of changes for the short time that he used it. A lot of paint changes, uh, had some elastic strapping added to it, and then it was actually worn under the mask that he would later wear for most of the first record uh, before he switched to that one permanently. And uh, just another cool piece, another weird uh, knockoff type piece, and another crude piece, as Ed would say. Uh, again, would have loved to see where Mick would have taken this concept versus the leather mask that he wore later. I think that I prefer that over the Absolutely. leather devil any yeah, day. It's, it's one, one million percent. Yeah. It's one of the better ones. One of the better ones. Totally agree. Sure. Mick, let's bring it back, buddy. So we've got the Distortions Unlimited Mini Vampire here. This was made famous by the bass player in Mushroom Head who went under the name Murder Nickel. I, however, just really love this mask for this mask. It screams 90s Halloween for me, which is when, when I grew up, so there's just something about it. The, uh, the crudeness, and as Ed likes to call a terrible mask, is just the perfect mask for me, so really love this thing. This is a Distortions Unlimited Mini Alien. This is affiliated with Slipknot, and this is one of the first uh, masks that would lead me to a subgenre of Slipknot mask collecting called oddball collecting because this wasn't worn by any member of Slipknot. It was actually just seen side stage for a few shows. And I guess I had just collected so many Slipknot masks that I wanted to start finding the stuff that was on the side of the stage or behind the scenes. And this is definitely one of them. And uh, again, just cool to see another Distortions piece in the Slipknot lore. Two of my favorite worlds clashing, and no matter how minute or minuscule the piece was, it's just cool to have. Yeah, this, is, this is really this is awesome. Legendary. This yeah, is what a weird thing happening. True forever. Uh, <laughs> forever in his life. It's, it's I just so want to go awesome. down there and start helping them pour stuff right know, now. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's the mini devil right there. Yep. Yeah, I actually saw that earlier. <laughs> yep. I spotted it. Oh, oh man. man, now I'm thinking of more stuff because that oh, grandpa, oh, yeah, head, pig out. 
Oh my Pig god. Out. But oh my not god. the new, not yeah. the new sculpt. No, the, the old, old sculpt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's He's got lot, it on camera. Oh, yeah. he, no. Let's Notes see. from the video. There's a, yeah. That's an original home mask that we did. The good stuff. The lab. What? Yeah. Yeah. Which one's that? Smiley, 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 smiley. Oh, smiley. really? Yeah. yeah. Man, should have brought your notepad. <laughs> Monsters have been rocking with you forever. <laughs> Boy, yeah. I'll have to do some more. Well, I was shocked at how many of our masks were used by rock bands. There's so many masks out there. Bro. <laughs> you are going to be so dusty, dude. It's okay. <laughs> Know, it's like, all for the art. Oh, dude, you're all dusty. It's okay, my wife is oh, Wait, 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 that's, oh, wait. A, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. really? Oh, it's a, it's you see what he's got no there? No way, it's <laughs> He's got the, the uh, uh, alien mouth extension that, that shoots out <laughs> right crazy. on your back. Oh my God, I love it so much. That new t-shirt. It's too bad you can't preserve oh, that. Man. That is unbelievable. I should have brought his work shirt. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>